First, I visited Torre del Estanelli, located Bologna, right outside the entrance of the city. The tower was constructed between the years 1109 and 1119 by the Estanelli family. It took, it's almost 319 feet tall and contains a staircase that has nearly 500 steps. You can climb to the top of the tower and get a 360-degree view of the city below. Then I took advantage of Italy's beautiful landscape. I hiked the San Vitale Trail to the Carpinetti to Mount San Vitale. Along the trail, you have many scenic views as well as historic sites. It's a two-mile hike that ascends about a thousand feet. After that, I then visited Marello Ferrari Museum. It was constructed in the 1970s next to a Ferrari factory. It is also next to an F1 racetrack. Inside, I found a few collections of vintage Ferraris as well as a collection of Formula One cars. Unfortunately, I could not tour the factory, but I took a shuttle tour around the factory grounds. Visiting here was a dream come true. While in Italy, I had to visit a vineyard. Benito San Vito is located in the hills of Bologna. Wines have been made here since medieval times, since the Abbey of Nona Tola. San Vito has been producing wine for the past 50 years. What makes Venetino San Vito unique is that they use biodynamic agriculture, meaning they do not use fertilizer or irrigation. I then visited the Arch of Augustus, the oldest Roman arch that is still standing to this day. It was constructed in 27 BC and it is used as a symbolic entrance into the city. It was originally a gift to Octavian Augustus. There were walls surrounding the city as well to go along with the arch, but they were destroyed in the 1930s. It now stands as a symbol to the city. I love visiting here because it's the oldest standing arch in the Roman Empire and it was a perfect example of Roman architecture. I then got some gelato from Crimea San Stefano, one of the most desired places to get gelato from in Emilia Romagna. They offer many different flavors of gelato and some chocolates too. After browsing the menu, I decided to get Trina con crema al mascarpone. It was delicious and I highly recommend everyone to go try this when they visit. After a long day, I went to go get dinner at Rigi La Taverna, located in Pinella of San Marino. The atmosphere alone makes this a plate, great place to eat. The menu mostly consists of local tastes like lamb and snail. After looking at the menu, I got two lamb cutlets that sell on a red pepper puree served with green beans and anchovy sauce. It was my first time ever having lamb, and it tasted amazing. This is a must-eat place if you visit Emilia Romanga. After dinner, I then went to Grand Hotel San Marino. It's a four-star hotel with many luxurious amenities. I just needed a place to sleep after exploring all day. I had a very nice day there and would definitely stay there again.